Let's begin our series of France's greatest dishes with the pot au feu, the quintessence of French family cuisine and perhaps the most celebrated dish in France. We'll follow the rigorous instructions of Madame Saint-Ange from La Bonne Cuisine, published in 1927. The Bible of French home cooking wants to be found on every kitchen shelf in the land. This highly practical dish using the simplest of ingredients provides an appetizing portion of meat, a selection of vegetables, a sumptuous soup to be served on the day, as well as a supply of bouillon or broth that can be used in a variety of ways, in other soups, for braises, sauces and so forth. A versatile byproduct that was almost always used in French home cooking in place of purpose-made meat jus and stocks that really belonged to the professional kitchens. So this is meat and vegetables boiled on the fire. To increase the strength of the bouillon and to enhance the flavor of the meat, Madame suggests preparing a primary bouillon with the roasted bones. So these are cut into reasonably small pieces, browned lightly in a very hot oven before going into the pot to be cooked for 12 to 24 hours, skimming off impurities all the while. She recommends using different cuts of meats. A good combination is knuckle or shin, here I'm using an osso buco style cross cut. A piece of short ribs is excellent and she states that the best piece of meat is the rump. It's easily carved and yields a good bouillon, however any boneless lean piece of stewing meat can be used instead. Giblets or trimmings from a chicken or turkey are an excellent addition. Carrots, turnips and parsnip are left whole if reasonably small. If not, they're cut lengthways. Leeks should be chosen large, peeled with most of the green removed. The celery is cut to a similar length as the leeks. And the onion is studded with cloves, like pins in a pincushion. It's also classic to include a hint of garlic. She says that an authentic pot au feu has only parsley, thyme and bay in the bouquet. The pot au feu meat and vegetables are traditionally served with coarse salt, cornichon, small pickles, and mustard, or any other piquant bottled condiments and sauces that the English have contributed to French eating habits. Mmm, discretion advised. A good tomato sauce, or sauce Robert, may also be served alongside the beef. The recipe for the sauce Robert is given a little later in the video. The bouillon is generally poured over thin slices of grilled bread. Importantly, we're told that if using cabbage, which is entirely optional, you must not add it to the pot because it will spoil the bouillon with its particular taste and any leftovers that you keep for sauces will be useless. Cut it in half or quarters, cooking in boiling salted water for half an hour. Drain, then gently shallow cook in a small covered pan for 10 minutes with a ladle of bouillon with some fat taken off the top of the pot au feu. So arrange the meats on the bottom of the pot tied with some string to maintain an even appearance. Pour in the bone broth or water to cover the meats by a couple of inches. Bring the liquid to a boil very steadily over half an hour or so. A very gradual heating of the liquid is important for clarity as well as flavor of the bouillon. The impurities in the meat, which would otherwise cloud the broth, will gradually form foam on the surface, which is skimmed off with a spoon once the broth has begun to simmer. The froth can be made to rise two or three times by adding a drop of cold water and gently returning the liquid to a simmer once again, each time removing the resultant froth. She prescribes seven grams of salt per liter of water, a couple of good pinches to you and me. Madame warns us that if you plan to keep a certain amount of bouillon in reserve for sauce making, the required reduction will accentuate the salt note. So at this stage, any further seasoning should be added to the broth just before serving. The pot should be covered with the lid slightly ajar. Simmer very, very gently for a total of three hours, skimming occasionally, only adding the vegetables after the first two hours. So the vegetables will only cook for the last hour. Although it's okay for the broth to reduce by a certain amount, be sure to top up with water just so the solids remain covered. 
throughout the three hours of simmering. Strain the bouillon through a cloth in a strainer into another pot and remove any remaining surface fat. Keep the pot warm until service. And also keep the dry vegetables and meat warm in the first pot. So the pot au feu soup is served first over thin toasted slices of bread, followed by the beef and sauce and the vegetables that are often moistened with even more broth. Well, here's hoping I've been able to lend a little romance to this traditional, quintessentially French pot au feu. Do leave a comment if inspired to try this dish yourself, and please like and subscribe for more authentic French preparations to come. Allez, bon appétit et large soif.